Now what I'd like to do is turn it over to the case study that we have from Hattiesburg. I'm going to introduce Russell Davis, who is the project leader and director of public services, and Sherry Brown, who's the information systems analyst, is going to tell you more about what happened at Hattiesburg. Okay, thank you, Steve. Uh, on behalf of the city of Hattiesburg, we would like to say thank you for using the city of Hattiesburg as a case study project. Uh, <clears throat> as I stated, the city of Hattiesburg is the fourth, fourth largest city within the state of Mississippi. Uh, our situation that we had was uh, numerous calls of garbage not being collected, not being picked up, having it go back and to pick up stuff constantly through the day. Uh, so we sat down and we looked at this thing so we come up with a solution for this to get rid of the waste uh, collection by hand. And it was the no better serve the city of Hattiesburg and to help uh, with the management of our department, which we was having a lot of problems with injuries. And going to this automated garbage system really have helped with the injury part of it. And the main thing we were looking at the fact that we did not want to lose employees. And so as we lost employees in other departments throughout the city, we did not feel the opposition because after we looked at this, we decided we was going to go to automated garbage system. And <clears throat> to be able to place these guys in a, another job so they wouldn't lose their jobs. And this is what we decided to do. So we started looking at different things about 10 years ago. Uh, sit down and did a little research and call the fruit people and talk with the fruit people, uh, with the mayor and with the council. So we heard about the city of Mobile, how they had done. So we went over and we actually met with the city of Mobile, sat down and talked with the director of public services there. And he told us how they did a field study on this throughout the city of Mobile. And like I said, he told me it took them about 14 years to ever get it in to effective, get all the their council on board with going with it. After looking at their uh, system, we decided, myself, the mayor, and the council decided to go with this automated garbage system in order to better serve the citizens of the city of Hattiesburg. Uh, we talked with the manufacturer of the trucks, and they gave us, you know, what they could give us on it, and they would talk with Otto, who was someone that we had used in the past on with cars. And also recommended the RIFD system in order for us to be able to keep up with our trucks, keep up how much we was collecting, uh, to have data to where if someone called and said, well, you missed my garbage at 908, but we could look on, go back and look at the system and see where it was picked up at 910, the address above it at 805 and he said he had his garbage out at 8 o'clock, but it would let you know that you wouldn't uh, be able to get by with saying they didn't pick up your garbage. And so far, this has worked great for the city of Hattiesburg. Uh, using Concept 2 solutions, it has enhanced our uh, goals uh, great here in the city of Hattiesburg. And we had to look at the cost. So I've seen it was a question asked, did we get this through a grant? No, what we did was we went in and we leased trucks from the manufacturer. And it is fixed to where in four years we can take all the system out of those trucks and put in new trucks to keep it updated. And whatever software we need to update, we would update at that time. But we did not use a grant or anything. We just went through it. They have a uh, lease program where you can lease the trucks, put everything on what you want to put on it. After four years, it just rolled right over into, you know, and we looked at that, and it, it was a cost savings to the city of Hattiesburg. Uh, we saved about uh, $400,000 on this year's budget with 
going to the automated garbage system. And but you know we we, we had a total of uh, twelve of uh, eighteen rocks to begin this when we had our regular trucks doing it manually. And with going to the automated garbage system, we was able to cut down the number of trucks we used, cut down the routes that we had. And to right now we only run daily we have nine trucks running on a well we have ten trucks running but we only have nine routes. Uh we collect anywhere from a day we average around six thousand six thousand residents we pick up a day with going to automated garbage system. Usually there was getting the homeowner was getting two pickups per week for garbage, two pickup week for trash. By going to these uh, 95 gallon carts, we have been able to go to once a week household garbage and once a week yard trash. Uh, implementing implementation of implementation of this, you know, we cut down on man hours. Uh, we only run four days a week now. Uh, where we were running five days a week and sometimes you no know, Saturdays. But now with this new system, we have got it <clears throat> under control to where that we're not having, you know, uh, it's not a 10-day op operation. Uh, most of our average routes now are about eight hours and still instead of a 10-hour day. You know, the guys have time to keep your truck clean, make sure everything's downloaded. We got our orders data we need that <clears throat> we was trying to get. Uh, the impl implications of this thing took around, i say, six months period total because we had uh, planned for our trucks to be in in April, in March, and to go live in June. But because of the trucks, delay in the delivery of the trucks, we were pushed back to August. And once we started it, the program has been great. We have uh, learned a lot. We have had some some uh, little small problems with you know, getting the data from the truck to the uh, computer, but that has been all taken care of. Uh, working with Steve, he, he calls, he's on the phone, he let us know, okay, let me try this, let me try that, and it works out pretty good with our IT department. Uh, there's uh, so much more we believe that, that will help the city of Hattiesburg with using the con uh, uh, concept to solution for collection. You, you can collect all the data you need. You can keep up with the trucks. You know where the truck at, where the driver's at at all times. You can tell if he's picked up his 700, 600 carts today that he's required to pick up, you know, you can tell where he's been slacking, but like I said, overall they have helped the city great. And at this time I will turn over to Sherry and she can tell you a little bit more about our routing system. Thank you, Russell. Um, as you know, uh, all of our data was already sent to um, Auto, we collected this data from our, actually our garbage customers who is actually collected through our water billing system. All of this information was sent to Auto and they, as Chris Kirstie has already explained, it was already actually when the carts were delivered, they already had all the information on there and once they were delivered, all the data was, was um, compiled at that time. What you're looking at right now is an actual map of a garbage pickup. Um, it will show you these are actual tips that were collected on each street during this pickup. Um, and if you'll go to the next slide, you will see the data that's actually recorded. It has an account number which is associated with our garbage, our garbage customers. It has the um, street address with the street number, the GPS coordinates, and the time and the date stamp that was actually recorded at the time of the tip. All of this information is downloaded, as we've already covered, every day, every afternoon as the trucks come in, and um, they are um, saved on our system, and then we can go back at any point in time and pull up any of this data as needed. Also, I believe that we have discussed um, 
that the information, if, if a garbage can was not left out, the drivers are able at that point in time to, um, to, to notify that on the trucks. So all of that information is also recorded with this information. Now I'm going to turn this back over to Russell for him to, to go over our current benefits and our future considerations. Okay, Sherry, sure, thank you. Uh, you know, here there's a, it's a verification of our routes. Uh, the red routes represent uh, a, a one day, and the blue routes represents, uh, a blue route represents another day. Uh, this will help us to verify customer pickup. When they was picked up, uh, what they, 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 this customer, we have a fixed, share them have a fixed in IT where a customer can pull this up on our website and look and find out what day the garbage or trash is to be supposed to be picked up. And also, you know, this tracking also helps us to know that, you know, if I get a call to where well, my garbage wasn't picked up today, well, I can look on the map and say, yeah, today was your day. You, you should have been picked up. And if I, 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 can, I can track that truck, pull up, track that truck, and see if he hasn't been in that area that day. If he's been in there, you know, evidently the garbage wasn't out. Uh, this has helped us to, you know, to, to refine our search for as garbage go, and we can keep up with all the data collection that we need. And we are looking at the future benefits of this for the city of Hattiesburg by going to recycle. Uh, auto do offer, you know, different types of lids for recycling, which we can use the same size cans or we can go down to a smaller can. The city is considering going to uh, recycling uh, and trying to do it where it's no cost to the customers. Uh, when we uh, implement the system, we try to do it where it was not going to cost the, the citizens of the city of Hattiesburg anything extra on their on their building cycle. So I said we went to less pickups, but the price of it stayed the same. And that's what we're trying to integrate right now with, with the uh, recycling. We are looking at it very strong and hoping, you know, that it won't cost the uh, customers not much money in the future. We have looked at maybe going at a $2 cost per month to the building if we start doing the recycling. We are going to look at that very hard, very strong. Uh, the council and the mayor really don't want to put no more burden on the citizens of Hattiesburg. But we are, we're working towards that, and hopefully if everything goes good, we will be getting back in touch with Otto, getting back in touch with Steve to set up something so we can do our uh, recycling also the same way as we're doing our garbage, but with a different system. Uh, back to you, Steve. Well, thank you very much, Russell and Sherry, for that and the Hattiesburg experience.